This is the very sophisticated Ocean Floor Explorer, the remotely piloted Odysseus 6K, which can dive down to 19,000 feet. And with a crew of nine technicians in a transportable control room, they were involved in searching the seafloor of the North Atlantic with the grim discovery this morning of the debris from the Titan submersible, which the Coast Guard said had imploded from water pressure at 12,000 feet below the surface near the bow of the Titanic wreckage. The equipment uh, that was brought on site this morning uh, that we were using uh, was a, a pelagic ROV uh, capable of operating at 6,000 meters, uh, cameras, sonar, uh, other uh, articulating arms and, and uh, resources on it. Uh, and it, uh, you know, we had to transport it here through C-17 uh, aircraft. This is two aircraft that it took to get this up here. And that was the scene we saw Tuesday afternoon at Buffalo Niagara International Airport with pelagic containers with the Odysseus and other gear being loaded aboard those Air Force cargo jets. That flight took them from Buffalo with the jet-powered planes carrying this crucial cargo up to St. John's, Newfoundland, which was the staging base for the search out at sea. It was then transported by this specialized Canadian exploration ship, the Horizon Arctic, and they arrived early this morning to begin operations. A Pelagic Research Studies spokesman telling us that Edward Cassano of East Aurora, who is the CEO and builder of the Odysseus, was given oversight control of the search effort aboard the Horizon Arctic. Their involvement in the search effort to resolve the seafloor tragedy mentioned by the Admiral. I'm really grateful for all of uh, the responders uh, that came out to support this uh, and, and really, uh, you know, search uh, for, uh, for the vessel. It is a difficult day uh, for all of us. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.